Hello and welcome to 360 Vibes. <laughs> yes, your number one stop show where we bring you all the juicy stories in the world of entertainment, music, comedy, and of course, gossip. And I am not here alone. I'm here with my pretty ladies. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you doing? So my name is Joy. Uh, it's nice to be here again. Stay tuned. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the show. It's your girl, Queen. All right, guys. We'll quickly go on a break. When we return, juicy stories for you. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, guys. So, Joy, what do you have for us today? Okay, guys. So, um, I came across this argument on Twitter, okay. and they're, like, discussing how much privacy should um, people in a relationship have from each other. Like, you know, you're dating someone, right? And you're yeah. so, supposed to be, like, open with the person. Okay. But then they're like, how open should you be? Should your, partner, your boyfriend or girlfriend have, like, unlimited access to your phone, per se, and your social media and everything? And some guys are actually supporting it, like, hello, why would their girlfriend have a password on their phone that they cannot, like, access? Go through. Go I'm, through. I'm like, ah. I don't, I don't really know about that. Uh, what do you guys think? I don't know. I, I feel, I feel um, in the relationship, there should be a limit to some things. Mm -hmm. So we are not married. You've not paid anything on my head. So I shouldn't be fully entitled to you. I should also have privacy. For example, like if I don't want you to go through some things, I will password them and I won't give you the password. But I will actually there should be a limit within what you go through and what you don't go through. Hey. So if you know my password to my phone, that's like a normal thing. Okay, fine, you know how to, or you know my password to my phone, you know what to go to, you know where to press and everything, that's okay. But going to further details, like for example, my personal bank info, or yeah. you want to know how much I have my account, or you want to know this, or you want okay, to know my transaction. Okay, for example, there, there, there have been something about people going through people's phones and especially boys when they want to get their babes, like they want to know what has, what they've been, where they've been to, okay, or like, the girls and everything. They go to either their Uber history, they check their boat apps, oh, where have you gone to, they check the history okay, and everything. That's too is this far. Not, okay, for example, you're dating somebody, right? Um, what was the purpose of dating? To lead to marriage. So yes. should you really be like keeping those kind of information? So, okay, from so the thing is your boyfriend. So the thing is, when you know your partner, there are some partners that they know themselves and they just want to keep um, their phones open to themselves. There are some people like that that to that extent they can even tell you you have every right to go to through go my through, what, yeah. my WhatsApp even my bank details, do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's a personal thing. Why there are some persons, they don't like it. They yes, password their seen... phone down to their, their, what's it called, their account details. Okay. They don't want you to know what, um, how, how they've, the transaction they've made so far. Okay, yeah, I, well. I also feel, I also feel sorry, I also feel, it depends on both persons. If I'm open, if I'm the, in, if I'm with someone and I'm open to the person, and the person is open to me as much as I am open to, to the, the person, person, that's fine. If I want to go through your phone and I want to see some things and whatever, and you're okay with it, and I go through it, whatever I say, fine, no problem. But if you're open to me, I will be open to you. If you're restricting, I will also restrict. restrict. So there's some persons that will actually say, "Why are you locking your phone?" Especially if they. Maybe they're the ones that maybe got to the phone or whatever. Some people are like, oh, why are you what, why are you block um passwording your phone? Why is there no why is there password there? Why is the password there? But when I want to get through to yours, you actually receive like, don't touch my phone. There's some relationship I've seen on the internet like, oh, why did you go to my phone? Well, you see, you okay, cry, yeah, whatever, and everything. Yeah, the person is being okay. Let's say they're being secretive or whatever. But let's say personally, even if. Okay, let's say, for example, in a relationship, even if my partner is being open with me, like, even if I have access to your bank details, your, your Uber history and the rest, even if I have access to that, I don't really care about all those. So I don't think it should be a reason because you're open to me, I should not be open to you. It's not compulsory. I like to keep my privacy, like, even okay, in the relationship. Fine. Okay, so. Like, there are some limits to what he can know. Please, yeah, okay, they are so still dating. There was, there okay, was so to calm down. Okay, so Queen, do you know that? Having a password to your phone 
it's actually good in a way. That is because of um, you trying to preserve what you have in there. Yeah. There are times you just misplace your phone and then your bank details are opened. Do you understand? Or probably um, yes, on it, a long it's run, good, on it's long good run maybe, maybe it's been it's snatched from you. No, Do you understand? No, like it's a been different snatched thing from where, you. Like, it's like a, a case where your partner doesn't... It's cool. Everybody has a password. Yes, phone. like personal details. a case detail. where your partner does not know the password and you have refused to let the person know the no, password. Okay. That kind of thing. Like I once saw a scenario on Twitter where the guy like... Just because he wants to know more about his girlfriend to monitor her movements per se, he has to go go ahead and install a spy app and that's not on nice. his girlfriend's phone. That's not nice. And like I mean, okay, everybody deserves their privacy, right? So this guy went to install a spy app. Of course, he found out that the girl was cheating last last. So oh. in a way, she, the girlfriend was wrong. But the guy, I don't think he still had even. He actually went too far to I mean, do that. He actually, like, no, no, see, it's he actually went too far. But come but, on, okay, I feel, okay. I feel. If you want to know, like me personally, if I want to know if the guy is cheating or whatever, I may not necessarily have to go through his phone to like maybe get some infos or whatever, but I, I may probably just like to go with what you tell me. So if you tell me, oh, fine, you are or you are not, some people actually don't open up to it. And no, obviously, no one will actually come up to say, oh, I'm cheating in public. Yeah. So some people can actually play very smart and go through the phone, hit it, and be quiet and gently leave the relationship. Most people do that. So people actually go through the phone and cause more trouble. Like, oh, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're cheating yeah. and everything. So I just feel personally we should just... Just I don't I don't know. Just okay, just you know, do for, for just respect people's privacy. You're not married to me, so you don't have so much to go through. Like, why are you going through my phone? So for that guy to um, do that, to put a spy on our phone, I think probably he has been suspecting. Maybe he something. Has something. Do you I feel he has been suspecting because something he won't for him just to actually go that, go far. that far. Because right now, some people will not just casually just, just want like, to do. Yeah, they must put a spy on her. Why should you? That. Why should you even do that? Because funny enough. If you're in a relationship and you're putting a spy on me, it means we shouldn't get married then. Because if that relationship you're already is having security issues, issues. Yeah. Security imagine when you not get married and I'm stepping out and you're like, I mean, oh, like, what are you there's doing? There's even a reason for you to want to even think about putting a spy up on, on your partner's phone. There's no point actually. There's already a problem. Thinking like, people should be it's already open. A problem. If you're open to me, I'll be open to you. Sure in as much as you restrict the whole thing, I'll also restrict whatever exactly. I have with you too. So I think you should just know what you want to do and like exactly and then don't don't go that far actually that was too that was too much going going oh. putting a spy on on your friend's phone means you don't trust her and for you to do that means you are you are you are hurting yourself because the more you the more you see what she is doing it pisses you off you get angry so i don't think there was any need for that so people should just be playing to themselves when they are in a relationship and then don't bulk I, I, put things to heart I so think you won't get thing, Another thing now is that people actually go through people's phones to actually find out if they are cheating or not, to actually find some things out. So one is true to help, is good to help you like your heart and how you feel and about this person it's good to just okay to know if this is going to work or, or it's not, not going to work and that thing too is actually not good because you're indulging in people's privacy and it's exactly. not good to actually just go through people's privacy and say oh i want to go through your phone and your bank and everything even if you go through someone's phone at the end you may see something and misinterpret it exactly. you may see maybe your girlfriend chatting with a guy and be like okay so who is this guy what's it what's your discussion with this person what's your relationship with this person even those kind of questions they're actually annoying because well, you actually trust okay there was partner, this case right? now there's a friend i had so um she was this whole password cheating thing mm. so she met a man and most men they actually say they're married and they, they actually don't say they're married they actually just go with the flu so like she met someone the guy was actually married and she never knew so she asked him i was like oh i'm not and come on you know some men look very good you even know that they're married mm -hmm. so like she kept on asking are you married and he's like no no he's not so he played along like with the whole thing he was very discreet about it he didn't say anything about the relationship and everything he kept on going and going and the girl had to now go through his phone for him oh. to not find out, oh, he has a family abroad. <laughs> he has everything, or he has like five kids. What will you do ah, in that situation? At that point, it's and that, cheat, that, <laughs> that checking of phone was literally what saved her. So what will you do? So, so cases that some people actually get into trouble, mm -hmm. if they don't check or find out what is actually going on, uh, they won't uh, go out from it. So sure. checking of this privacy thing or checking of phones may actually be good. 
in some case it will help you to prepare for what the worst that is coming please <laughs> like you don't know what's coming you're like ha so this is what i'm going to let me cook my leaf it's actually good and sometimes not it's not good before, and not get hot get before to know, it get to know it when it's already, it's already good pick imagine up. now in this kind of situation she has she was already dating this guy and they've been going for like let's just say again plus and mm -hmm. he has a family, meaning he's married, he has kids oh, abroad. That would be so be so that would be too much for, for her to handle. So, so please, so I don't know. I think now I'm not rethinking this checking privacy thing because at that point in time that was what yes. that was what saved her. That was what saved her from literally what she was going into. Because come on, to do like dating a married man. Oh. I mean, God literally said, Don't enter anything that you know it's yeah, not yours and everything. That was a That was actually very Good um, for this, her to this, this for privacy matter, I feel like I say not get in. So last last, do what suits you. Just <laughs> don't go and do the one that will give you breakfast. Actually, yeah. just do what suits just you. What you know that will be fine for you at the end you of the day. But you say no privacy. Do you know, funny enough, your collaborate. peace matters a lot. Oh. See, your Putting peace password, is better going, to know. Going further to even put a... Like, even what did he put thing, again? Uh, Inspire uh, app, uh, track app, or whatever to know what she's you doing. Going and going to, you are literally going to die on time. Come on. It's better you because so the more you see, the more you, you get, you feel bad. So, best to actually say, no, it's not hurt. good. It's not good to actually go through. Like, some people say, um, don't go, don't don't search for what will hurt you. For mm -hmm. example, I've seen some, um, there's a video that actually went viral. So, the girl was checking her boyfriend's phone when he was sleeping. She woke up, she was crying. The girl was like, why are you crying? She went through his phone. She and saw she things saw upon she was heartbroken. I'm like, ha, ah, Chimo, where, what have you entered at this point in time? She saw things. She was like, so you've been cheating and on me. And it will take time for that lady to, five to years. heal from that Exactly. Pain, it's going to mess up with her yeah, mind. Boy. It's going to mess up with her emotionally and everything. Exactly. So that, at the point now, it's actually even case. good to even check. Mm -hmm. Because let's be checking cheating. what is there, some people are just <laughs> naturally insecure. Some people are just naturally <laughs> paranoid. There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. So people just pass experiences. Your boyfriend has a lot of female friends. You just want to go and start, guy. See, that is why for what's joy. Not there. That's why it's good for you to know who you have. When you know who you have, you know you'll be on the safe side. Like you, 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 you save yourself from lots but of, just have to lots that of, that um, that are just of thoughts, unnecessary thoughts. Do you just understand? Be it's it's just good check if do you know it's good when if your boyfriend knows your your circle if he knows what you can do and what you can do yeah it's, but this one he has to check her he knows that he has to check her flow so up. people will know everybody in your you family can't. and still go and check your, See, your phone exactly so people are just that extreme That's too much so people, so people are just that extreme so even if like okay you know everything about me i will still prefer my privacy in a way don't go checking my phone bro why are you looking if you're for? open to me i'm going to be open to you don't if you're me. locked no. up if you need a grid, I'm not going to grid too because I see they wage your own me to Like, if you're not agreeing, I will not agree. If you're agreeing, I will agree. Simple. All right, people, we will go on a short break, but when we return, lots of juicy stories for you. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, people. So, Queen, what do you have? What's the latest? So, guys, there was something trending over the weekend. I'm sure everyone must have seen this. I'm sure everyone must have seen what was happening. So, there was a wedding trending um, about Queen Messi Atang. That's mm -hmm. a celebrity from Big Brother. So, she got married recently. She got engaged last week, like some months ago, and she got married. And the wedding was just very nice and just simple and very good. So, now the problem now with the wedding was that she had, she, um, she's a single mother. She had a child uh, um, with Lord Lamba, a skit maker. Mm -hmm. And I think they were in a relationship and she had some issues and like they fell out and she moved on. So, now the problem is that people were like dragging her, like, why are you taking the father, um, the the child's father, um, the father of the child, or you're not being with the father of the child, or you're taking the child to another man that's her okay, new like husband and everything? So like she's literally starting her own life again because of what she has gone through. And she literally came out to actually say this was what was happening. Lord Lamba, um, the skate maker, wasn't giving her attention and everything, so she moved on. So personally, I was very happy for her, for the fact that she found love again, mm. despite of her condition, despite yeah. the fact that she had a child yes, for, yeah. for, for him. She found True. love again as she moved on with her life. But people were just dragging her, oh, the yeah, father is still alive, why are you taking the kids, another yeah, man, this, this, that. It was just a lot of 
trauma. But actually, I'm happy and I'm very, very proud of her. Women are winning again. <laughs> yeah. If that relationship is not working, work out and move on. You can always find love again. So, like, I'm literally just happy for her. And I like the fact that everyone just, a lot of people have things to see, Sha. But personally, I'm very happy for her. Well, I, I have a question. Why would her ex-boyfriend now bring the child to the public yeah and I he literally saw, saw and post, why, why yeah. will he do that now that she has moved on, on. see so parents can actually take what the dish so if they actually act in this certain way they can't even do it like if they act in a certain way they can't want people to act same to them so now um I, we all heard that um she was in a relationship with her she had a, ch a child for him and they were not in good terms meaning she didn't even, he didn't even post the child when the child was like one year and everything uh, the process of it she didn't post we, we anything never, we never there was anything. nothing from his side because it's also all. an influencer is like a popular person mm -hmm. celebrity there was nothing from his side until the day the girl actually got in, um, engaged as queen yeah. then they he had to now came to post like oh this is his child he's taking full custody it's he's sending calls but it was just a lot of drama why are you but taking her shine what if okay let's look at it from this angle i know we are all happy that they say queen has moved on yeah the relationship didn't work out so she and her child were able to find a new family to start but don't you think maybe it's possible that Lord Lamba still has feelings for Queen? See, that's he's why very he's jealous. He's very jealous. He's very jealous. He's, envy. he's seriously he's just envy. jealous. Why won't well, you showcase your own child? Like your own why child? Why do you, you never have talk to wait about your own child? For the day his ex was okay. actually okay. When, when the day of her glory came. Exactly. Okay, but, he but, came but, to snatch it. Immediately she posted but look at oh, she's it. getting married. What if he didn't want to just, let's say, bring out the child on social media? Yes, that's what he was not saying. Some people just like to keep their private life private they don't want to bring out their children and expose them to the criticism of the social media so early those people will say this child not resemble you not do this maybe to avoid all those unnecessary talk he just like kept the child out and now that his baby has married and now that his baby has married someone else he's feeling so bad maybe that's why he decided to act out of jealousy it, it, th that's what we are saying you wouldn't have done that do you understand? You wouldn't have done that. That wasn't necessary. It's possible that the reason he didn't bring his child yeah. out during the, let's say, the earlier three years of the child's was, was birth to keep her. was to keep the child from but social it doesn't media mean, criticism. It doesn't mean. Do, and people that, do people just go and just want to do for your child's trouble immediately? No. Yeah, but look at it. Look at how, let's say, everybody's analyzing all the, um, every every celebrity's lives, like what their children, people are going in to look like, it's okay. The fact that they, they always he did that problem. at the wrong time. At the very wrong time. Oh, I'm not, you I'm not justifying bring, that. You but don't the bring is, your child is, at that point where your ex is about to get married. Where she, yeah. where she they're was trying to take her shine and you're yes. like, oh, let the attention move from her. Act, it was an yours. act of jealousy. The guy Obviously. Is, okay, let's say he, maybe he was not really serious or fully invested in the relationship. And now he sees what he's losing. So he just had to, you know, men have always been men. want to like lash out <laughs> as alpha male. So Do you know, know that, that was how Messi Chung was then? Yeah. When she wants to introduce her current husband as her brother. Mm. So, See, that, that thing, always that thing slided that way, There's that period. So, when later on, they now brought it. Why? Why will you do it? There was something about Sasuke now. So, Sasuke mm. also a big brother celeb and all. So, like, during, um, I think during the, this weekend too. So she finally brought um, her boyfriend on social media. You know, like, there's this dumb thing they do at the end of the month. They just put, like, oh, yeah. this was how my February went. This was yeah. how my match went. So she introduced the band, and she was like, oh, this is the boyfriend. And he, he went to go and say, oh, he said, oh, no, I'm oh, sorry to my Instagram buddies. I'm now taken. Now, they are both out on social media, like, oh, I'm dating, relationship with Sasuke. And he's like, oh, I'm in relationship with Sasuke. And Sasuke, oh, I'm in relationship with him. And now Nigerians trust Nigerians to always do what they're best to do. They went to go and dig out. So this guy that had issues with his former ex, best friend, or whatever, and he dumped and left her for Sasuke. So in that case, what will you now say? That's serious. Okay, but look at it. Look at it in this way. People will always investigate. Yeah? But uh, that relationship thing is a private thing. Because, yeah, people break up all the time. People get into relationships and they break up. So I feel they should just put their... If, if you don't want your family or your relationship, I just keep it private. There's nothing there about bringing up to bringing social, media. To social media. social media. That was how Soma and Angel, Big Brother, exactly. same Big Brother they celebs. Did. They were like, oh, I'm in love, I'm in love, it's my husband, it's my this. I know there's nowhere to be found. Like, Today. they just keep bringing up their problems and flooding the internet yeah, and everything. Well, it's it's, keep your private life to your yourself. Private. No one is going to force exactly. you. Exactly. Even if they drag you, just... 
oh, I'm not interested to talk about it, and that's just it. Instead you of don't you have bringing to come it out up. to yeah, say everything, everything every time. It's better you just keep it to yourself and know that, oh, this is my personal life. Well, I just want my personal life to be in my zone. Instead of is, bringing it still, out to the public. Everybody still has a choice, per se. I mean, normally, just look at me. Let's say I, I don't have one million followers or anything yet. I don't have one million followers or something. And I can post anything I want. Nobody because will you care. want to get followers. Not because I want to get followers. Like, I'm free to post my... Even if I break up ten times now and I post it, nobody cares, really. But the instance that I, that I become famous, like, or a celebrity, that's yeah. when the, my beloved fans People will now want to exactly, go and want to go and bring it out. And the internet so never forgets. Exactly. The internet will always, exactly. always, so always it's it's remember... I don't, I don't really blame anybody for putting anything on social media, actually. You're free to do what you want. Just that when you're a celebrity guy, you have haters, you have lovers. So it's anything always like see. that. All right, guys. We've come to the end of today's show. Thank you for always keeping in touch with us. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.